Good afternoon everybody, I'm Laura Serrant and I am an inclusive practice specialist and a leadership development coach. Here we are, galloping through March on our musings, our reflections and our thinking about the way we lead ourselves, the way we lead our businesses and the way we lead other people. In my 40 years of working so far, I've thought about many things in relation to what I've learned on this journey. And as we reach the letter N on our journey through the alphabet, I'm thinking about the word now. Now is a very short word, but it's one that is absolutely essential for us if we're really going to plan and develop ourselves and live the kind of life we wish to live as leaders, as business owners, or even as human beings. Now relates to something in the present time or the current moment. And there's a sense of urgency that goes with the word now. It calls for us to make an action. It calls for us to make a thought. It calls for us to do something. But now, as well as being an active word, can also be a distraction. It can distract us from action, in a sense, because if we can't do it now, when can we do it? If not now, when? When I have lost more weight, when I finished another course, when I have sufficient money, when I know more, when something else happens, but not now, when I have more time. But the one thing we do know is that time, the time that we have is now. There's an old adage which says, tomorrow is not promised to anybody. What we know for sure is that we have now. So when we overthink and overfocus on the inadequacies of now, the inadequacies of our self now, the shortcomings of now, the distraction of now can become a cage. What's even more intriguing is it's a cage we have created ourselves. And not only have we placed ourselves in that cage, but we can even have thrown away the key. We do nothing now because we are waiting for some other time, some other space, some other thing to happen before we can move forward. If not now, when? Marie Curie, who that really great physicist, was talking about the imperative to not be held and not be distracted by the wish for something else. The fear of getting it wrong, the fear of doing it wrong, the fear of going too quickly, too fast or too soon. And she said, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now, is the time to understand. Understand more and fear less. And what she's encouraging us to do is to understand what is holding us back, to understand how much weight will be enough and enough for what, to understand how many more qualifications will make a real difference to whether you choose to move forward and to understand that we never have more time unless we create the space now for it. Our actions in perfectly executed now are way better than the perfect plan that never is executed because we're waiting for some other time, but just not now. Now 
as a distraction holds us back. But if we really engage with now, it can be a catalyst, a catalyst for action, a catalyst for thinking, a catalyst for thought, a catalyst for change. It's worth remembering that the now we have is the future we dreamt of not that long ago. And the good old days are now. In the future, now will be the good old days. So it shifts with us and our mindset, our actions and what we do with the now. What is now proven, what we know for sure now, where we are at this moment, in this time, in this space, was once only imagined by us, was once only imagined by other people. And our ancestors, our family that have passed, our older generation, couldn't even have imagined some of the things that we now take for granted. This is the best time. This is our time. And the time is now. So what are you going to do with that catalyst of now? Don't wait for the perfect time to make a change. Because that perfection will prevent you enjoying the time and making the best of the time that you have now. In the animal kingdom, in the world of the lioness and the lion, the moment is always now to act, to think, to consider and to do the best that can be done in the now that we have. As Barack Obama said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. The time is now. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change we seek. So what are you going to do with your now? I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.